well, we had like biology come sex ed, biology with a sprinkling of sexual education, and Mr. Taylor was doing his best, just getting embarrassed about like talking about fannies and everything. This little boy got his hand up and he went, yeah, sir, uh, I was watching a, a video last night where this woman was licking a man's penis, the tip of it. And I was wondering, why was she doing that? We didn't even learn how to put on a condom, which I find quite confusing. For some reason, my biology teacher talking about erogenous zones really sticks in my mind. I was like, well, 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 there are lots of nerve endings in the penis, Simon, and it probably felt quite good. Mr Blackmore in year eight, and all the boys had to write down anonymously a question. When I start to get pubes, do I get pubes on my cock? And I remember him saying, no, you get pubes on your, on your, on your balls, not actually on the shaft or the head. Um, but I grew up in Scotland, yeah, where everybody's just getting it in from early, like eight years old. And it was very thorough. We covered a lot of bases. When will my balls drop? I have hair in my bum. I do remember there was a boy at my first high school that believed girls could get pregnant by giving blowjobs. Now, he was old enough to know better. If you're still thinking like that at 14, 15, yeah, I'm going to pray for you. My dad was annoyingly and embarrassingly chilled about the whole thing. And he was like, you know what? I understand your mum might be a bit uncomfortable with him staying at your house, but you can always stay at mine. I'll bring you breakfast in bed. I know what's going on. I don't remember having like a talk, like a sit down talk. It was at the time when boys started watching porn and it was like, they would that was what they would talk about. So I would just kind of leave the conversation at that point. But my mum, bless her, she was really cool. It kind of went in with a birds and a birds chat because I hadn't really shown any interest in boys at, by this point because I was quite private. And she was like, um, if you love girls and fancy girls, we'll love you no matter what. Like, you can be attracted to whoever you want to be attracted to, and I just want to let you know that you can speak to me about all of that stuff. The worst thing about puberty is, oh, it's just everything. It's horrible. Who enjoys puberty? The worst thing about puberty is, like, the race. So many girls had just, in year seven, just had massive boobs. We had swimming lessons and they had pubes, and they kind of were really proud of their pubes and I was very slow. I was like flat and I didn't have a period till I was 16. And it's a horrible time because you like, you start smelling and you get hair and, and hormones. They just, they really mess you up. I st like I'm 23 and it's still, it's still happening now. Oh, you're sweaty, you're spotty, you're moody for no reason. Everything about puberty is just annoying. I think the creativity a boy will go through to reach orgasm you know, like banana skins, melons, plethora of fruit and veg. The gap between the sofa cushions, this here. Um, I think a lot of people feel very inadequate when they go through puberty, especially young girls. I feel like we're constantly comparing ourselves and we're worried about the way that we look and the way that we dress and we're told to fit into a template and I feel like there's a lot of pressure. The jet from a pool a lot of chlorine in the pool. Um. My advice that I'd give to my 16 year old self now would be face your front. Just focus on you, focus on your growth and your path in life. Probably on a serious note that it would be okay to cry. Like fly your freak flag earlier because all those stuff, all those flaws that you're trying to cover up are actually things that make you great. Like, fuck the fear. In a non-patronising way, keep being ambitious and keep the people who love you and trust you close because they're the ones you're going to need. And just be kind. Just be, just be nice. And the universe will thank you. That's enough yeah. things if you go. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like the best things. Like, yeah. right? True.